first of all, I'd just like to apologize for the camera moving all the time. I didn't realize that I didn't lock it into place at the beginning of this filming, so it's moving around a little bit, and I apologize for it being off screen a little bit here. Um, so this is a painting that I did for a commission around Christmas time. I'm using Global's Impasto acrylic paints. One thing that I really love about impasto paints is that they're really, really thick and you can keep layering and layering and it creates an illusion of detail without having to put, um, I guess, too much effort into the detail of the painting. It's a little bit hard to tell in the video, but um, it's not that great for blending together. I normally like to do a wet into wet paint blending on straight onto the canvas. But as you can see that there are paint streaks once it's dried. So what I'm doing here is just going over and as I said adding just a little bit of texture with the thick paint in the background. So in this painting I wanted to create a nice contrast uh, in the background compared to the elephant. So obviously in the background you can see that I have warm colours and as you can see here I'm starting to use blues for the elephant. Now there was a couple of hours at least between these painting sessions for the background to dry. As I said, it's laid on pretty thick, so sometimes I have to wait a day, maybe two, for it to dry completely, and I can go over the top with some more paints, which is also something else I really like about the impasto paints. Um, see, I've gone over, um, over the lines around the ear there, but as soon as the thick paint goes on top, it covers it up really well. As I said earlier, I like to do a wet into wet paint blending onto the canvas straight away. So I'm using the paints, as you can see, I'm taking straight over the top and putting it straight onto the canvas and blending the paints together to create the shading and the shadows of the trunk. Like this creates a really nice textured look to the artwork as well, which is one of the reasons I'd like to use the impasto paints. of four, sorry, five colours for the elephant. So the purple is the darkest part. I'm missing with that dark blue that you see next to my painting there. Uh, and the light blue, there's like a cobalt blue, is the in-between colour. So when I mix straight onto the canvas, I normally have a very dark colour for contrasting and, uh, sorry, contrasting with a re really light colour and a mid-between colour so I can blend them together without them looking uh, too different on the canvas, I guess. That's what I'm trying to do here to create the wrinkles of the elephant's ears. I, I had to block down the base colours first, wait for that to dry a little before I could go over again to create the details of the eye and the wrinkles around the eye as well.
top of the elephant's head, relatively difficult to get the colours right to blend in with the trunk that had dried and the side of the elephant's temple that had also dried. So um, I did have to go back over those parts and just add more paint just to make the blend look a little bit smoother. Sometimes I find it was easier, which is what I eventually had to do with the top of the, um, the forehead, which is put down a whole block of paint and then blend onto the canvas and gradually add colours and layer and layer until it worked out okay. ended up adding some texture in there as well because blending it smoothly just added um, brush strokes that I didn't need. So that's it for this video guys. If you did like it please hit that like button and if you're new here hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye!